combat, movement and the upgrade system. Let's talk about it. Let's start with the weapons wheel. Bernor can hold up the weapons wheel where he can select up to 7 different consumables like ammunition or health elixirs. The 4 on the bottom are yet to be discussed but the T stands for Thorfinn, we'll get to that in a minute. The 3 consumables that we can see are the steel bolts, concussion bombs and healing elixirs. The steel bolts are ammunition for the crossbow, which is part of the multi-tool. This works similar to Talion's bow, as it slows down time, you can aim and shoot at target. The concussion mines haven't been shown, but we can imagine how that works, similar to probably a smoke bomb from the Uruks. And the healing elixirs are here to replace drain, since you can't drain any targets for health. These and the steel bolts tend to drop from orcs and possibly beasts as well. Let's see how these and other features are used in combat. Besides this, there's also a shield and the shield can be used for a shield rush, which is essentially a bash which knocks down any orcs and caragors and it seems extremely powerful. Jared mentioned that it was here to replace the glaive. You can use it to stun multiple people at once and even to dodge attacks. When blocking with the shield, however, you have to make sure you're facing the, the one that's attacking you, since you can't counter while blocking. And that same direction is obviously the one you're going to bash towards. Besides the shield and the crossbow, there's also the wire or whip. They didn't really confirm what the actual name was, but this can be used in combat with moves like Cyclone to cut orcs in half. A fourth use of the multi-tool is the grappling hook, which we discussed last time. Um, but this can be used in combat as well, but they didn't show that yet. They did show some concept art, however. And over this concept art, Torvin narrated that the old Numenorians used this in combat as well. These consumables, weapons and abilities can be upgraded through the use of augments, which work similar to the gear in the base game, as these can drop from orcs and beasts. But there are also actual upgrades, which will give you new items for the multi-tool. In-game, you will be presented with the concept art of a specific Numenorian ruin. There are multiple scattered across the region. With that, you need to figure out where the rune is and where in or on that rune is the artifact. In the Oasis, we found a grappling hook, which gets narrated by Torvin. You can bring this artifact to Torvin, who has his own little worship near the oasis, and he will turn it into an upgrade, as he's a dwarf and they're good with that kind of stuff, I guess. Besides the combat in between, we saw a bit of movement. You won't have elven speed, but when you jump off a ledge, you can still get a speed boost. Besides, besides this, Baronor can also climb regularly, or, of course, with the help of the grappling hook, which they didn't show yet. Sadly, that was all they showed in this stream, soon there's more to follow, this week there will be another stream. For now, let me know what upgrades or consumables you would like to see for Baronor to use, besides the one that we showed of course. And with that, I'm leaving you. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.